What's up everybody? Tonight we're going to be making one of the most comforting comfort foods there is. Mashed potatoes and gravy. So, cheers and let's cook. We're going to start by finishing peeling these potatoes. I got four large russets, roughly three and a half pounds. Time to dice. So we're just going to cut these guys into quarters. We're going to do roughly one inch pieces. Just a real large dice. And that is going to help them cook uniformly. We are peeled and diced. Now we're going into a pot of water. Time to head to the stove. We're gonna let our potatoes come to a simmer and let them simmer till they're fork tender. In the meantime, we will start our gravy. For our gravy, we're gonna start with a roux. So I got my pan heating up on about medium low heat. I'm gonna go in with four tablespoons or two ounces of butter and let that butter melt. Our butter's melted. I dropped that down to low heat. And now I'm gonna go in with two ounces of flour. It's also about a half a cup of flour. Just whisk that together. And I'll let that roux cook for about a minute. Our roux is cooked. Not really looking for any color on that. Just want to cook it so that you don't taste raw flour when it's done. I'm going to go in with four cups of turkey stock. Turn my heat up to high. Let that come to a simmer. I'm also going to go in with two teaspoons of rub sage. Just let that come up to a simmer. Just started bubbling away, so I'm gonna turn my heat down. I'm gonna season that with some salt and some freshly ground pepper. Give it a stir. Just let that simmer for about five minutes, taste it, and adjust our salt. That's been going for about five minutes. I tasted it. The salt was about spot on, as well as the pepper. That was about two teaspoons of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper. So now I'm just gonna turn that down to low and let it sit while our potatoes finish up. And we are good to go. So we'll get these potatoes strained and then it's gonna be time to whip them up. Potatoes are strained and in our mixing bowl. So now we're going to add three quarters of a cup of butter to that. And one quarter cup of heavy cream. Season that with some salt. Take about a tablespoon to start. We'll test it. Pop on my whisk attachment. Start on slow until the butter is melted and then crank it up to high. I'm just gonna scrape down my edges. Test that for salt. Can use a little more. Good. One last whip, we'll be ready to go. All right, they're looking nice and fluffy. Our salt is right where it needs to be. All we're gonna do is grab that gravy, plate it up, and see what we got when we put it all together. So we got some delicious mashed potatoes and gravy here. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe. Also, all the recipes are written out in the description right below the video. Guys, cheers. And I'll see you next time.